What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster here on this beautiful Saturday night, uh, June 11th, 2022. It's about 6.47 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows some movement with a 1.8 earthquake into the area of Southern California. Pretty crazy. Uh, well, it's actually been pretty active there uh, throughout the day today and also down here along the Middle America Trench. I want to check out, though, real quick right off the bat, uh, some activity hitting the east coast over here around the, uh, what is that, Portsmouth, Rhode Island area. Uh, 1.6 coming in within the last hour, about 5.3 kilometers, uh, just south of the Providence area. Not for sure if anybody felt this earthquake. It's a rather small earthquake. It looks like maybe one person did. Um, we don't see too much uh, earthquake activity out there. It's been quite a while, and I don't think they've had anything uh, historical in terms of 4.0 uh, or 4.5 and above nothing showing up here on the map since about 1900 or so uh, but just a little bitty microquake out there still again um, way out there in the rhode island area pretty crazy uh, west coast so there is that movement here that was showing up on the uh, earthquake 3d globe looks like a 1.9 near the pinnacles california area that earthquake striking right smack dab on the San Andreas Fault, uh, the creeping section that is. A little activity there within the last hour. Also down here south of the Ridgecrest, or southeast of the Ridgecrest area, it looks like east. Uh, 1.7, 3.2 kilometers for that little earthquake. It has been relatively quiet here around the Ridgecrest region uh, throughout the uh, day today. Uh, Long Valley Super Volcano, seen a little spotty movement earlier this morning and earlier this afternoon latest quake shows a 2.6 in that region but uh, still overall uh, throughout the eastern part of california here up and down the sierra nevada uh, it's been relatively quiet including areas around nevada things tend are, are kind of quieting down right now uh, i'm sure that will change here soon uh, not a whole lot going on throughout the pacific northwest we did have one further earthquake up here uh, within the, um, uh, it looks like northwest of Seattle here, around the Olympic Mountains, a 2.9 uh, at 38 kilometers. Now that's down in there into the Cascadia subduction zone. I want to check the trimmer map real quick right off the bat and see if we got any trimmers, uh, which we haven't. It just shows about six epicenters uh, down here along the southern end of the Cascadia. Now this area along, let me see if I can bring up here the last um week or so of activity this area up here around seattle has been seeing quite a bit of trimmer activity here and this goes back since uh it looks like about uh, i said it for may 7th up into uh the 6th of um june just randomly picked it but either way this area has seen quite a bit of trimmer activity um in the weeks past and that could be pointing towards the uh, surface, well, this ain't really surface quaking, but activity that we're seeing down there, kind of upstream, I believe, from the trimmer um, with this 2.9 coming in there at 38 kilometers. Uh, and then again, the trimmer activity does take place around there about 35, uh, 45 kilometers downstream. So um, not for sure exactly what's going on, but uh, definitely a little activity up there into this area of the Cascadia subduction zone. Now, remember, this is down dip, downstream here. Uh, definitely not a surface quake. The Cascadia itself sits right over here, but got to remember the interaction here below the North American plate. Uh, definitely showing up here on the map today with that 2.9. Uh, let's see what else we got. Northern California, we did see some spotty movement here outside of Ukiah earlier today. Haven't seen too much movement here uh, since then. Uh, Cobb Mountain, the hydrothermal operations there, starting to fill in with their earthquakes on a typical normal day, it looks like. Uh, one earthquake outside of the Mount, uh, or the uh, Shasta Lake area. Uh, aside from that, the rest of the Pacific Northwest here, relatively quiet. Seen some movement up through Montana and Idaho. The latest Yellowstone map here, let's bring up the latest, make sure. Uh, still shows that we had some activity earlier this afternoon uh, with the ongoing swarm here. Although within the last hour or so, it looks like things kind of tapering off a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't say completely because there's definitely a, uh, a pretty good handful of quakes there within the last couple hours. 
but uh, uh, not as intense as what we've seen. Uh, say, for example, earlier this morning and overnight last night, uh, seen quite a bit of swarming. USGS not picking up on any of those earthquakes yet. I'm sure they'll get to them on Monday. Uh, they have been doing a pretty good job of showing some of that activity. So, um, yeah, quite quite a bit of good, quite a bit of data to look through, and uh, showing up here around the little, uh, or the, this is a west boundary area. Seen some earthquakes here as well within the last hour, and in, in that type of sequence. Let's see here. I don't see any other separate swarms occurring away from this area. So, basically confined here. Uh, to the Purple Mountain area, Maple Creek, uh, Maple Creek section, uh, where all this swarming activity is taking place. So we'll keep an eye on it for sure. I'm unable to access the uh, the live data up there currently, so um, not for sure what's going on. But I'll I'll keep trying because I'd like to see a um, Yellowstone station up on the live stream. It's good to keep a uh, keep a watch for sure on that uh, area. Uh, throughout Alaska, some movement kicking up here along the Aleutian Trench and into the mainland with a uh, little 1.3 within the last hour or so up there towards the uh, northern Alaska area. Still seeing not a whole, well, we're not seeing anything out here around the Japan Trench, Kurokamachaka Trench, and through the Mariana Trench. All pretty quiet. Nothing showing up above the 4.0 threshold uh, down here along the area of New Zealand. This area has been showing quite a bit of an uptick and uh, with this further activity we did see a 5.4 here um, in the western Indian Antarctic Ridge. Also some movement here around the uh, Ballin the Islands area that's further south of New Zealand uh, and some movement up here north of New Zealand as well but um, I still think this area is under the gun for potential larger movement uh, aside from the 4.6 and the uh, 5 point, uh, what was that they seen last night? 5.6 in this area. Um, it's filling in a little bit, but with all the movement that we've seen over the last 30 days or so uh, in the large scale department, we're talking about the sixes up down here. Um, and then we did see some activity here, a 6.9 back in uh, the middle of May, well, towards the end of May there, uh, with very, very little large scale movement here across the New Zealand area. So um, definitely something to watch. There has been some fours and fives, but uh, nothing um, that I would think would be uh, enough re relief for the most part here for this area. Uh, so got to watch that area pretty closely. It's just kind of putting that uh, X marks the spot right over that region. Uh, the Java Trench area looks like they had a 5.0 um, 111 kilometers down in there. Pretty deep earthquake into the Java Trench. Uh, that earthquake uh, just a little while ago this afternoon. Uh, some movement throughout the Middle East it looks like and also over here around the Turkey area. One earthquake out in the Indian Ocean. And as um, far as the swarming goes out here in the Atlantic, looks like we did... Uh, now we haven't really seen too much more. Uh, activity since uh, since this morning's update so just kind of quiet out here for now uh, we did see of course a bunch of fours and fives earlier this morning and overnight time frame here in the mid Atlantic Ridge uh, one earthquake out here in the last hour around the Puerto Rico Trench that's this area right here a major subduction zone this earthquake striking near the uh, uh, Cruise Bay US Virgin Islands area 3.6 at 9 kilometers and some typical swarming fashion over here around the mainland of Puerto Rico. South America did see some activity uh, this morning's time frame, it looks like. Nothing this afternoon. Those fours were from uh, much earlier this morning. So, uh, quieting down there. Uh, again, we checked the trimmer map tonight. Only six epicenters of trimmer. And that's mostly confined here to the uh, northern California area. The very southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone although this here looks a little bit more upstream uh, than what we're used to most of the time it's further inland uh, which would mean down uh, further down dip this here kind of looks like it's more up towards the locked area of the Cascadia subduction zone just kind of pointing that out there uh, activity at Mount St. Helens has been kind of dwindling but uh, we will double check that again 
um, along with the Mount Hood station, see if we can pull up some activity there. Uh, looks like there was one earthquake here within the last hour uh, and prior to that, this afternoon's time frame, uh, a, couple spot, a couple spotty microquakes throughout the uh, Mount St. Helens area. I'll see if we can get this to load here. Yeah, there's some of that spotty activity in the in the blue, black, uh, red lines there. Uh, there was a little bit stronger one this morning time frame, probably at upper one, maybe possibly a two on the magnitude scale there. Uh, let's check out the Mount Hood area. Let's see if we got any movement kicking up here. Um, around the Mount Hood, this is the top of Palmer Lift. Sometimes this uh, generates some interference here. Looks like there's a little microquake here. Um, just within the last hour at the Mount Hood area uh, and throughout the rest of the day today in the afternoon morning time frame a couple other small very small microquakes there at Mount Hood uh, definitely nothing compared to Mount St. Helens and no major swarms or anything to report there at the beautiful volcano Mount Hood that is uh, earthquakes Canada map we'll check these guys out here and see what we got uh, still just showing one earthquake over here around the um, around this area of Canada, it looks like a 2.0. This one here was from yesterday, so we haven't seen any further activity um, throughout Canada at all um, here on the map. So a little on the quiet side up there. Solar weather has been um, somewhat uh, interesting recently, but we're still waiting on this sunspot here, 3030 to come into view and uh, possibly provide us with some solar flaring in the coming days as it rotates into view. Uh, looking at the, the coronal hole map, you can definitely see that uh, well-defined sunspot over here. Around the eastern limb, uh, a couple coronal holes, they're named 90 and 91, will be facing Earth pretty soon here, if they haven't already, and providing us with uh, um, some um, possible geomagnetic storming here in the coming nights. Uh, aside from that, folks, things just kind of mellowing out uh, on the solar flare detection chart. Haven't seen anything really spectacular since uh, since the little M flare that 3030 popped off here. Um, well, two days ago now on the UTC time. So aside from that, uh, let me check the EMSC model, see what we got going on here along the Middle America Trench. Uh, of course, that would include areas around Mexico, Guatemala area, uh, Nicaragua region. All this area has been shown quite a bit of swarming here in the three range. And notice some activity kind of working its way up here. Uh, looks like there's a three and at least one four pointer into the Gulf of California region stretching up there. Uh, I don't believe the USGS was showing that four pointer. Let me double check here and see. Uh, I don't see it. Nada. So uh, yeah, definitely still a little bit of swarming activity throughout the Middle America Trench and the Baja California region. So for now, we'll just see how this plays out. And um, pretty broad area, I would say, of uh, coverage. A couple quiet zones, like I, like I mentioned, uh, throughout the Papua New Guinea area, up through Mariana Trench and the Japan area, all, all super duper quiet. So sometimes that... It could mean uh, something, and then sometimes it could just mean that it's quiet, right? And then maybe we'll get some uh, earthquakes here filling in that region here pretty soon. But uh, either way, for now, stay safe, everyone, and enjoy uh, this beautiful Saturday night. I hope everyone uh, has a great night out there, and um, make sure you guys subscribe, like the video. Uh, that does help out quite a bit with the YouTube algorithms and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, we'll take... Take care, guys. We'll chat you a little bit later on. Stay safe.